All right, coming up next, it is a women's strawweight championship fight between Joanne Calderwood and Marina Moroz. All right, here's the number one strawweight contender. She is set for this title fight here tonight. Certainly deserves this opportunity, but confidence has never been an issue. She believes for a while she has been the best 115 around the roster, and tonight she can leave as the champion, and she is looking to do just that here in a matter of moments. Excited to see how this one plays out. As she makes her way to the octagon right now, her preparation has been perfect. She is in fantastic shape. She is focused. She is motivated. And she believes she will leave this cage tonight as the new champion of the world. So much depth now at 115 pounds, but they're all still chasing her. Yeah, they are, the undisputed UFC strawweight champion. And she's got the confidence that belies the champion. As you see her make this walk here tonight, she won the belt with flying colors, defended it with style points, and that's the same goal here tonight. She really is a fighter that maintains a calm demeanor, takes it fight by fight. She has aspirations to be the greatest of all time. She is well on her way. The champion is making her way to the cage right now. Her preparation for this title bout has been absolutely according to plan. She is focused, she is in great shape, motivated and determined to step in here and put on a championship level performance and retain her title. And now our tale of the tape for this strawweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, her team. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC strawweight championship of the world. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a boxer, only a professional record of eight wins, three losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Boulder Gorse, Ukraine, presenting the challenger, Marina Iron Lady Moros. And now he's in the champion. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, 3 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Glasgow, Scotland, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, Joanne. for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down right now. And we are underway at the Mecca, Madison Square Garden in New York City. Oh! Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh, that is as good a jab as you will see. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Calderwood. So both girls landing right out of the shoot. Well, she ate a pretty good hook shot to the body there, Joe, and now she's going to have to be careful moving forward. Her opponent has got a pretty good read here tonight. She has been vulnerable because she has leaned in. Let's see if she lowers the guard now here to prevent further damage by that hook. Well, she whips on the straight right hand. Look at that. Nice.
Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Good exchange there. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Moreau. Big kick, but miss. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, how good is that jab? Moreau's now opening up a little bit in the pocket. How about that chin? He just misses there with the left. The spinning back fist lands. Kick to the body by Calderwood. Just missed with the left there. Missed that shot. JoJo Calderwood gets absolutely torched by that uppercut. That one figures to leave him off. Very nice timing with these shots here. Moreau's able to land there. Oh! Really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. Misses with the kick. Left kick to the body. Well, she moved into the pocket somewhat carelessly there, Joe, and she paid the price as her opponent lands the hook to the body. She's vulnerable when she leans in. Her corner's trying to get her attention. Let's see if she can adjust. Inside leg kick. Nice. Calderwood gets in the clinch. Need a body by the oh, chair. Big knee. Oh, vicious knee. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Oh, so the round is over, but not before she got absolutely scorched by that huge shot just before the final horn. So she goes back to the stool now. We'll see the extent to which she can recover. As many of you know, 60 seconds, not a lot of time. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. And here's a huge, perfectly placed punch that lands with devastating impact. Brittany Palmer in the building tonight. Ready to fight. Ready. Round two underway. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Well, she has landed some very significant strikes here tonight. That is the good news. The bad news, more often than not, Joe, it's been one and done. She's not stringing the combinations together the way she has done in previous UFC. Oh, man! Oh, big shots! Huge uppercut misses. Moroz's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Calderwood's hooked to the body. That one got blocked, though, Joe. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Outstanding kick there by Calderwood. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Great exchanges. All right, under three minutes now to go in round two. Gets away from the clinch. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Well-placed kick there by Marina Moroz. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Calderwood. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at that jab. Nice. Looking for the left hook. Struggling to get to clinch. Calderwood's got double underhooks. 
And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. And her knees in the clinch are outstanding. Now she's got the Muay Thai plum. Nice knee. Hard hook. Changes her stance yet again. Trademark inside leg kick there by Morose. Well, she left her body wide open, Joe, and as such, she paid for it there. Beautifully placed and landed kick to the body. Let's see if she makes the adjustments here defensively to avoid absorbing any more kicks to the body. Throws the left hand. Good job in landing this series of strikes here. Really missed with that right they hand. They continue to exchange. Ah. Ten minutes in the books. Beautiful strike here, lands on target. And here's another clean shot that lands. Perfectly placed strike here, lands on target. Yes, listen. Hey, had a bad wall here. She gave you a cut. I need you to protect that cut and start firing back. Don't just stay. Ariane Celeste is holding it down. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Man, that hurts to watch as she continues to punish her opponent's body here in this round. Good shots by the champion. How about that chin? Morose's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Oh, this is the body. Just missed with a huge kick. Right leg kick. Calder with another kick landed there. Oh! Wow! That's a big hook. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here? I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Yeah, these are, what did you say about my mother punches? The left hook hits home. Oh, this is the end of the body. Oh, huge shot there, lands flush. Oh, man. Inside leg kick is there by Calderwood. Straight right hand, but she misses. Well, she left the body wide open for the hook shot there, and again, she pays for it, so I'm... Oh, she got rocked again! This could be it! Here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Marina Moroz. Oh! oh! This could be it! Oh! She got tagged again, she's hurt! She might try to finish this fight here. You just missed with that huge kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship okay. round. Okay, you just got caught. I need this round to be sure. Let's take another look at some of the action from that round. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. 
And another perfectly placed strike. Some really well-placed strikes on display in that round. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is underway, and now is where you really see what a fighter is made of, Joe Rogan. These championship rounds can certainly test the endurance. Both fighters have had their moments through 15 minutes. Who can dig deep and find the strength to get the finish here in these championship rounds? Oh, she continues to pour it on. She is landing at will, eternally aggressive with her striking, and she also has a pretty good gas tank, so she doesn't appear to be worried about that. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Oh, this could be it right here. Holding on to her here, Joe, not doing... Oh, to the body. effectively there by Calderwood. Oh, nice. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Inside leg kick. How about that shin? Oh, she is as relentless as any striker on this roster, man or woman. But oh, she got stunned again. This could be it right here. left hand. Oh, that cut has really opened up now, Joe. Morose gets caught by the inside leg. Oh, she got rocked again. This could be it. Oh, nice shot to the body. Connects for her there. Somewhat surprising we didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the fight. But she is getting after it now. It's the speed. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. And she misses with the left punch there. Showing the punch. Rose gets caught with that punch. the end of the round and we'll see if she can recover from getting stunned by that huge shot just before the horn of course you know she's only got 60 seconds here with which to recover they'll get her on the stool physically she's compromised mentally can they keep her in this fight and let's look at that again OG Ariane Celeste in the building with us tonight. Ready, fight. Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Oh, a nice block there and a counter kick to the body by Morose. There's a front kick right down the middle. Well, she's got a good jab, missed with it there. Wow. Whoa! This could be it right here. Oh! Right huge hand. right hand! Oh! Oh! What a leg kick! 
that bruise on her outer thigh is getting much worse. Oh, she connected. Oh, oh, another one. This could be it. Well, Joe, I know she's got a lot of faith in her chin, but at what cost she has shown an increased susceptibility to head kicks by moving right into her opponent's range. That one landed, it landed flush. Let's see if she can adjust. Both fighters exhausted here. The kick lands. Nice punch by Morose. That one hurt. Oh, she got stunned again. This could be it right here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. A huge kick for the knockout victory. Oh, absolutely, Joe. A tremendous kick to end the fight here tonight. She caught her opponent absolutely flush, full force, even better on the extension, and there was no chance for her to stay in the fight after that. You can make the argument that as soon as she lifted that foot up from the canvas, if she landed, that was going to be good night. And indeed it was. Well, the stakes were championship, and man, did that woman get the job done here tonight. The UFC Women's Strawweight Champion taking home the belt with a massive knockout win tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 24 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout and new. Congratulations to the fighter and to her team as she becomes a new UFC champion of the world here tonight. And she saved her best performance for last, and I probably shouldn't say last, because she'll want to turn around and defend this title in short order. But tonight, the celebration is on as she becomes a UFC champion.